this year. 16 wins for Raleigh and only five for Eck. Hot shot off the bat of Carlos Beltran out to the gap and gone. My goodness, did that thing fly out of the joint? Beltran is second hit, and it's a home run. It's 10 to 2. How about if you're Ryan Cook coming out of the bullpen? Your first pitch leaves the ballpark. You know, you're down there warming up. You I just, I wasn't picked. And the answer was that he thought he couldn't pick a deal. Though. Gardner rips one down the first baseline. That's going to go into the corner. Ichiro rounding third. Robbie Thompson waving him home. Here he comes. He'll score. Gardner with an RBI triple. Yankees on the board. It's 2-1 Rays. High drive, right center. Holt back, track, wall, see ya! A two-run home run for Kelly Johnson. And the Yankees lead 3-0. Well, David, you mentioned that Kelly Johnson starting to get a lot more playing time, regular playing time at third base. 0-0-2. Zero, zero, right. Okay. Throw to second runner. Goes. He is out. Nice tag by Jeter getting Jennings on the way by, and that's going to do it here in the fifth. No runs, no hits, no errors. And because of the caught stealing, nobody left on base. Out of the crowds quickly, and a nice throw by McCann. The tag by Jeter. We're halfway through 2 2. Two one, drill to right field. Off the pole, see ya. A two run home run, and the Yankees lead two to one. In an eye blink, hitting hard against the yellow pole on the right, and the Yankees are up by one. You know, it's funny that that long pitch at bat we talked earlier in the game. He missed a couple of sliders, and I said those are dangerous pitches in Yankee Stadium. This and the two two. Driven deep to right field, going back Bautista, turning, looking, see ya! A bullet, two-run home run for Brian McCann, and the Yankees lead three to two. Didn't I just tell you, Michael, he should have good at-bats off this guy. I mean, a lefty will make you stay in there just a little bit longer. It stays through this ball. Duh, you're right, Michael, he had an absolute bullet. That one's wrapped into right center field. A diving try by Rasmus against Byam. And that is going to clear the bases. McCann going for three. The throw is wide. It's a bases clearing triple for Brian McCann. And the Yankees have broken it open. They lead seven to two. Stays with this ball just enough. Drive it into right center. And every once in a while you just hope and pray that you get a break. And he got one there. Rasmus can't come up with it. Just out of his reach. Mark it. And it's a fly ball into right center. On the run is Ichiro. He makes the play. Ichiro Suzuki on the run took an extra base hit away from Stephen Drew. No runs a hit. One man left. We go to the bottom of the second. Like he did to Beltron. That one's drilled deep to left field. Fair ball, it's gone. It is gone. A home run for Brian Roberts. A two run shot. And Toronto now leads six to three. Boy, did the Yankees need this swing of the bat. That's exactly what happened with Burley. Couple of changeups. He tried to sneak a fastball by Brian Roberts at 82. Success this year for granted. Grounded to Teixeira. He flips to Batances and beats Reyes to the bag. One away. Well, nice play by Mark going to his right. Nice play by Batanzas covering, obviously, with Reyes, who gets down the line in good shape. Batanzas, a big man, meets him, beats him for the bag. Okay.
High fly ball, deep center. Rasmus back on the track at the wall. Leaps. Gone. A home run for Mark Teixeira. Just got over the wall at dead center. And the Yankees have a run at 7-1 Blue Jays. Well, we saw Adam Lind hit a three-run shot to center field that you knew had a good chance of going out. This one by Mark Teixeira. Thought he was kind of out on his front foot and off balance, but a ball carries a long way off the top of the wall. He's number one, not just number one Well, round. he was their first-round pick, but, yeah, I think he might have been the first pick. Sliding catch. By Ichiro for the second out. Well, I will look that up and tell you for sure. Obviously, he's trying to contain his fury. There's no way he could like what he just saw. Jeter hits one to left field. Way back. Going back, Melky on the track at the wall. See ya. Jeter comes back with a home run to put the Yankees on the board. Second home run of the year for Derek Jeter. Well, you know it. The 3-1 pitch. That one is ah. driven deep to left field. Going back, Cruz. Trap. Wall. See ya. A walk-off. Three-run home run for Carlos Beltran. His signature Yankee moment. And the Yankees win a thriller. 5-3 to three over the Orioles. Again, getting ahead in the count is key. You look for the fastball. That's not easy to do right there. Get on top of about 96, 97 up in the zone. After all the missed opportunities during this ball game, the Yankees have a big bottom of the ninth. Michael, you made an interesting point early in the year. I remember we were talking about this. Brown yeah. Ichiro just throws another hit out there. And you know, Ichiro had years and years where he hit 330, 350. And, you know, the last couple of years hadn't lived up to that. So is he better because he's not playing every single day and he is getting some rest? Is he able to, uh, to, to hit at this level now playing this way? And, you know, it do, sometimes as a player you have to step back and say, you know, what's best for me? And as an everyday player you get a little bullheaded you just think that you can always be an everyday player and that hit broke a tie with his former teammate Ken Griffey Jr. 49th on baseball's all time hits list.